What are your Premier League predictions for the upcoming 23-24 season? Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Now some of you might have seen on the community page of my YouTube channel the other day, I put out a question saying, get in your predictions for the upcoming Premier League season. I said, what are your predictions? And we had so many people commenting their Premier League predictions for the upcoming 23-24 season. I've gone through all of your predictions, so that's predictions from Brentford fans, Everton fans, Forest fans, Luton fans, Sheffield United fans, Man United fans, the whole works. All of your predictions, I've got them in, I've gone through all of them, I've tallied them up and I've made an overall average table based on all of your predictions that you've put in that community page and in the Premier League predictions videos we've done previously. And today we're going to go through the overall Premier League table of all of your predictions put together. If you missed out and you didn't get your Premier League predictions in, do feel free to subscribe to the Matt SB channel because we're going to do more fan engagement videos like this and you'll be able to see all of the posts on the community page if you hit the subscribe button and we are so close to 33,000 subscribers so please do hit the subscribe button. Just before we get into this video as well guys let's set a like target let's go for 400 likes on this video hit that thumbs up button and let's have a look at all of your Premier League predictions put together and see what it looks like. So then, just like with the other videos we've done previously, we are using a tier list. We've got the top four, your teams in the battle for Europe. We've got the teams in mid-table, the teams just surviving the drop, and the teams in the bottom three. As I say, guys, I've tallied up all of your predictions, and the average placing is what I'm going to show you today. So then, which team came up bottom? Which team did you guys predict overall would be the worst team in the upcoming season? It's AFC Bournemouth. This is interesting. Now, we do have a few AFC Bournemouth fans that watch the channel, and I think the majority of them, from what I've seen, are feeling quite optimistic coming into the new season, or at least that they're just going to avoid the drop again. It does feel, though, that people that aren't AFC Bournemouth fans, on the whole, are going for Bournemouth to go down. We did get a real range of predictions here, from a few people saying Bournemouth will finish 15th again. One or two people saying they might just be a little bit above that, but we did get a lot of people going for Bournemouth to go down down. It does look really difficult down the bottom end of this table. I know Bournemouth could so easily go down or stay up this season, but picking three teams in the Premier League to go down this year, I think is looking very, very difficult to do because I just think it's a real dogfight down there. And obviously every team is so desperate to avoid that drop. Bournemouth proved a lot of people wrong last year, but a lot of people are going for Bournemouth to go down this year. They'll just have to prove people wrong again. Up next in 19th place, a little bit of a surprise, I suppose, are Luton Town. Now, I don't mean that in a patronising way, but I did expect a lot of people to have Luton Town to be that bottom team. Looking at everyone's predictions, we did get quite a few people saying Luton Town would finish bottom, but at the same time, we had a few people saying Luton Town are going to be all right, that Luton Town are going to surprise people, and overall, when they've put all of their predictions together, they've come up 19th place here, just ahead of AFC Bournemouth. Now, like I say, I'm not entirely surprised to see people writing off Luton Town this season. Now, you can put that down to a few things, one of them being that they finished technically the lowest out of all these teams across the football pyramid last year they finished third in the championship whereas everyone else in the Premier League this season will have finished somewhere above them the other thing is that they won't have as big a budget as some of the clubs down there some people are looking at Kenilworth Road and thinking that's going to be a bad thing for them personally I think Luton Town are going to be better at Kenilworth Road not to say that they won't be able to pick up points on the road but I do think they can try and turn Kenilworth Road into a bit of a fortress but like I say I think a few people don't really know what to expect from Luton Town this season or they do think they know what to expect and that is for a team to go down but there is a few people that think they're going to stay up. We are just going to have to wait and see. But I find it interesting that overall, Luton Town haven't been placed bottom with all of your predictions put together. Do share your thoughts if you're a Luton Town fan. Um, like I say, I've seen a few Luton Town fans feeling optimistic, um, saying they're up for the task, they're up for the challenge, even though they think it's going to be difficult. And there are a few Luton Town fans that are thinking they're being realistic by saying they're going to go down. Time will tell. The final team that you've gone for to go down are Sheffield United. Now this was very, very close. We'll mention the team that have come 17th in a minute, but it was very close between these two sides. A lot of people have predicted Sheffield United to finish 17th. A lot of people have predicted Sheffield United to finish 18th. It feels like everyone's predicting them to be somewhere on that dotted line. Now that wouldn't entirely surprise me. In my early Premier League predictions, I did tip Sheffield United to just get over the line. I do think Sheffield United have a good chance of staying up, but if they do, I do think it could be by the skin of their teeth. The reality is the Premier League is getting tougher year on year 
it. And even though we saw all three teams coming up from the Championship to stay up last season, it is a very hard feat. It's a very difficult thing for a team to do to come up and stay up. There is continuity at Sheffield United. They've got a solid team. A lot of those players have been together for a long time. I think Paul Heckenbottom's a decent manager. He's been there for 18 months now. Um, they're not too Premier League inexperienced. It was only a couple seasons they were out of the Premier League. I think they've got a good chance. But like I say, looking at your guys' predictions collectively, you've got Sheffield United to go down. Now, before we come on to the teams just above that, I find it interesting just looking at those three teams you put in the bottom three, because funnily enough, that is the bookmakers' bottom three predictions, Bournemouth, Luton Town and Sheffield United. Um, you guys have got them in a slightly different order there. But like I say, I think overall, people are expecting these three to be the weakest. Not to say that I think they will be, or not to say that they definitely will be when things play out. But overall, your predictions are for these three to go down. Let's start moving on to the teams you've got surviving. Like I say, it was close here. A lot of people did tip Everton to go down, but they have just survived. A lot of people also predicted Everton to do well. There is certainly that element that this could go either way for Everton this season because... I've seen a few Everton fans making the point that since Sean Dyche came into the club, the results improved. And if you just if, if the Premier League started when Sean Dyche came in, they would have been higher up the table than 17th, which is ultimately where they went on to finish. The opposite to that is some people are saying there could be a points deduction for Everton this season. I won't speak too much into that at the moment because that is purely speculation. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens with that sort of thing later down the line. But when you're looking on the pitch, Everton have just been getting over the line over the last couple of seasons now. And a credit to them that they do know just how to get over the line. It wouldn't entirely surprise me if we saw them in 17th again, just being that team to get over the line. But there is that element that we've seen with history before us in the Premier League that teams that just stay up year on year, one year they will slip under the waves and be washed away down to the Championship. Not to say that that's definitely going to come true, but a few people did predict Everton to go down. Like I say though guys, with all your predictions together, you have got Everton just staying up by the skin of their teeth. Let's move on to 16th place. It's Burnley. And look at that new badge. I like that new badge, by the way. All of your predictions for Burnley seem to be quite varied, but the big picture is that most of you think they're going to stay up. There is a couple of people that think Burnley could go down, but you have got Burnley to perform the best out of the three newly promoted sides, and that would follow the trend of last season, where we saw Fulham, who'd won the championship the season before, perform the best out of those three teams that came up in the Premier League. And if Burnley were to have a season like Fulham did last year, and to get into that top ten, that would be be ridiculous. As we say though, the Premier League is getting harder year on year. This is certainly going to be an interesting first season for Vincent Company as a manager in the Premier League. But what I do think we can expect from Burnley is sensible recruitment. We saw that with Vincent Company with them in the Championship, even though the Premier League is a different kettle of fish. Uh, but like I say, overall, you guys think they're going to stay up um, just about. Not too close to the relegation zone, but not too far away from it either. On to 15th place then, guys. And you guys have gone for Wolverhampton Wanderers. It seems that there was a bit of a split with your guys' predictions for Wolves this season. Um, a few of you saying Wolves will go down this year. We saw, I think, at least 10 people predicting Wolves to be somewhere in that bottom three. I did see a lot of people predicting Wolves to climb on last season and be closer to about 10th place. So when you put all of those predictions together, you get Wolves in around 15th place which would not be a great season uh, I don't know if Wolves fans would be happy with just getting over the line this season but it is what you guys have gone for we are seeing one or two of their players that have been there for a few years now going out the door and now it's down to recruitment what players they bring in and how they set up for the new season but what I will say is I do like the manager he did a good job when he came in and I do think Wolves will stay up personally but there's a few of you guys that did think Wolves would go down let's move closer to mid table now the first team popping up are Fulham now, in my early Premier League predictions, I was quite harsh with Fulham and I said they could be a team involved in the Premier League relegation battle and I was one of the first people to say that. When I looked at your Premier League predictions, uh, most of you have them to be around mid-table. But there were a few people that do seem to think Fulham will drop off a little bit. There's no doubt about it. Fulham were brilliant last year. Probably one of the best teams we've seen that have come up from the Championship in their first season in the Premier League. To get into the top 10 was ridiculous. They were so good and some of the players they've got there, just unbelievable. I think Marco Silva's really proved his worth now you know I rated him before but after last season I rate him even more now but like I say though guys there's a real mixed bag of predictions here and um, you have seen in years gone by teams that come up and do really well in their first season 
can suffer second season syndrome. But overall, you guys have got them to finish in and around mid-table, which would be another strong season for Fulham. So, Fulham fans, share your thoughts. Would you be happy with just holding where you are, or do you think a regression is inevitable? Let me know down below. Moving up to 13th place, we have got Nottingham Forest next. Now, this, I think, is quite interesting, because we have got a lot of people that are Nottingham Forest fans that watch this channel. But when it came to going through everyone's predictions, I looked at quite a lot of people who are Nottingham Forest fans, their predictions for the new season, and I feel like they're being quite fair, not too biased. I think overall, the majority of Nottingham Forest fans have put their team to finish around 13th or 14th this season. There was one or two predictions for Forest to really shoot at the table in this second season and to get into that top 10 or to be around 11th and 12th. We did see a few people predicting Nottingham Forest to go down this year. It's not totally unheard of for a team to go down in their second season. What I have said though about Nottingham Forest a few times now, um, quite a few times last season, and I'll certainly mention it going into the new season, is how much I rate Steve Cooper. Maybe my personal personal favourite manager in the Premier League. Now I know you've got brilliant managers like Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp but I just really like Steve Cooper and I think when it comes to recruitment Forrest is starting to look a bit more like a Premier League club. It will be interesting to see if they can hang on to their star assets though because I think a few Premier League clubs might be interested in taking one or two of Forrest players away from them uh, but another thing is their fan base that could make a real difference this season. Overall your predictions have got Nottingham Forest in 13th place which is a bit of an improvement on last season. On to 12th place you guys have gone for West Ham United. Another Another interesting one here because when you look at West Ham United season as a whole last year it's a very good one a successful one because they won a European competition but the Premier League campaign if you just look at that in isolation it was underwhelming and if they hadn't won the European competition there would have certainly been more pressure on David Moyes now the trick is going into the new season they're going to be in European football again this time in the Europa League can they make a better fist of performing well in the Premier League it appears that you guys have gone for them to be a little bit better ultimately they finished around 14th or 15th last year and you guys have got them to finish in 12th place this year so a little bit of an improvement um, one of the key things coming into this season though is what players are they going to have where will Declan Rice be at the start of the first first game week in August. Share your thoughts if you're a West Ham fan. Overall, everyone's predicted you to finish around mid-table. There's a few predictions for West Ham to be in the top half. Uh, I don't think many people have predicted them to be relegated. Like I say, 12th place, it's almost slap bang in the middle of the table. Moving on to 11th place, we've got Crystal Palace. I think a lot of people just recognise now that Crystal Palace are a solid mid-table Premier League team. And by mid-table, that's meant with no offence. To be 10th or 11th in the Premier League is very good. You know, you're, you're in the top 10 and 11 teams in England, which is ridiculous. I think they've certainly got a few cracking players. When it came to looking at your predictions, not many people have put them too far away from where they've actually finished in the middle of this. I think the highest some people predicted Palace to finish was around 8th. The lowest prediction I saw for Palace was around 16th or something. So... Ultimately, they're finished in 11th here with all of your predictions put together. Share your thoughts on Palace coming into the new season. Let's move on to 10th place then. We have got Brentford. Brentford, another team that seemed to defy the odds, and I wouldn't be entirely surprised if we saw them actually a bit higher than 10th this year. Obviously, Ivan Tony is a big talking point. Uh, where will they get the goals next season? I generally don't feel too concerned for Brentford regarding Ivan Tony. I think Brentford's recruitment is so sensible that I just can't see them being near the relegation battle next year. I could be proven totally wrong but I just think I just feel confident with Brentford in terms of as a club they're going in the right direction and I like Thomas Frank as a manager there was certainly one or two people that did predict Brentford to go down this year but the majority of you have gone for Brentford to be in and around mid-table and a lot of you went for them to be in the top half again so there you go Brentford fans share your thoughts do you think you'll finish where you did last year I think most people think you will Let's move on to the top nine then. This is the battle for Europe and we've got a few teams that are going to be playing in Europe next season here. Let us start with the team that you put in ninth place, Aston Villa. There's Villa's new badge, by the way. We've updated it. I'm sorry we've been using their old one. Villa fans, do feel free to share your thoughts and your predictions for the new season if you haven't already. Villa, a lot of people predicted to be in the top seven when I looked at people's predictions back. Uh, a few people saying they'd get into the top six, you know, to really improve on last season, which would be ridiculous. Like we say, though, you've got to bear in mind the European football. This is something Cookie spoke about when he did his predictions, although I think he was quite harsh with Villa, saying they'd be a bit further down the table than I personally think they'll be. But we saw it with West Ham United. When you're in a European competition, especially on Thursday nights, your Premier League games get pushed back to a Sunday. It feels like you've got so little rest time. And if you haven't got as big a budget or squad depth, 
as a traditional top six side, should we say, then you might suffer the consequences. We shall see. I think Villa being in the top nine is fair enough. Like I say, there's a few people that predicted them to be in that top six, which would be ridiculous. Um, one thing I will say, though, is Unai Emery did a fantastic job last year, and I'm actually quite intrigued to see how he gets on next year. Let's move on to eighth place then, and you guys have gone for Tottenham Hotspur to finish exactly where they did last year this year. At the time of recording this video, Tottenham Hotspur have just signed James Madison, which I do think could be a very good signing for them. Um, I also think it's going to be massive to see which players they hang on to. I think that's the bigger question here. Where is Harry Kane playing his football next season? Um, once again, at the time of recording this video, he's at Spurs, but there is that potential he could be going out the door. But I do feel like we're saying the same question every summer when it comes to Tottenham Hotspur. When it came to your predictions, uh, it really did vary for Tottenham Hotspur. Ultimately, a lot of people predicted 7th or 8th. There was one or two people that predicted 2nd or 3rd, which would be a ridiculous climb. We could see a really good climb here from Tottenham because um, new manager could result in new bouts and no European football could be a good thing, no distraction. There was also a few people that predicted predicting them to regress a little bit more though and to finish around mid-table and ultimately that could be down to the fact that they could lose key players going into the new season. Overall though in your predictions you've got them in eighth place. Share your thoughts if you're a Tottenham fan. As we push towards the European places in seventh place we have got Chelsea. It seems as if you guys do think Chelsea will get back on track to a degree next season. Um, one thing that I think is massive is the manager. It looks a better fit, doesn't it? Uh, Maurizio Pochettino as opposed to Frank Lampard, who I know wasn't ever going to be the full-term replacement for Chelsea there in terms of a long project. But I think if they give Pochettino time, um, you saw what he did you know, at Tottenham Hotspur. He took them so far. And I think Chelsea could get back on track this season. It appears that you guys have ultimately gone for Chelsea to shoot up the table a little bit here. This would be a five-place improvement on a 12th-place finish last year. It is worth mentioning that there was, once again, a few people that predicted Chelsea to be in that top four. Uh, but once again, there was also those people that are a bit sceptical of Chelsea's chances. And ultimately, they're finished in seventh place here. Moving on to the top six then. And you have gone for Brighton to hold. Brighton to hold where they finished last year in sixth place uh, wouldn't totally surprise me um, once again we will mention the obvious Brighton and Hove Albion will now have European football um, will that have a negative impact on their Premier League performance uh, it appears that you guys don't think so or at least that they won't regress I mean let's not forget there is potential for Brighton to even improve on a sixth place finish I mean if Brighton got into the top four that would be ridiculous. Not in a bad way, by the way, because Brighton is such a well-run club. They are certainly trending in the right direction. Their recruitment is second to none. And even though we are seeing key departures like McAllister going out to Liverpool, Brighton are just another team that I feel confident trusting in to bring in the right replacement. So it appears that you guys think the same as me, that Brighton will be pretty much where they finished last year. Uh, there was, once again, we'll mention one or two people that predicted Brighton to break into the top four this year. I think the lowest prediction we saw for Brighton was around mid-table. I don't think many people think they're going to fall further than that. Uh, but yeah, like I say, ultimately, they've come up in sixth place here. So then, on to the top five, and this was very close between the teams that have come fifth and fourth here, but you've gone for Manchester United to finish fifth. This would be a drop by two places because they finished in third place last year. Um, a real mixed bag again. I don't think many people have predicted them to win the league. Personally, I agree. I don't think Manchester United are going to be quite at that level yet to compete for the title. They did certainly improve last year under Ten Hag as opposed to the season before or the season before that. Uh, this would be a regression though. I know they've got Champions League football to contend with next season, but I think that's a positive surely. You know, playing on Tuesdays and Wednesdays as opposed to Thursdays, which I think messes your schedule up a little bit more. Um, but it appears that you guys have gone for Manchester United to drop off a little bit. Like I say, a couple people predicted them second or third, but there was a few people that predicted them sixth, seventh, and there was one or two that predicted them to finish eighth. So they've come up in fifth place here. Just pipping them to fourth place are Newcastle United. A lot of people feeling positive and optimistic for Newcastle United's chances this season, uh, in particular Newcastle United fans. There were certainly once again people that predicted Newcastle United to improve and to break into that top three and top two, which would be absolutely ridiculous, but I don't think we're very far away from that. In terms of Newcastle United are going in the right direction, I think since the takeover in ownership, we have seen a very 
clever strategy into how to improve the football club. Instead of like what people speculated, just chasing after players like Mbappe or Haaland, they brought in Eddie Howe. They brought in decent players that are the right fit at this moment in time for getting this club closer and closer to where it could be. And ultimately, you guys have gone for Newcastle United to be in that top four again, which would be ridiculous, as we say, because they've got Champions League football to contend with next season as well. Let's keep moving then. On to third place, you have gone for Arsenal. Arsenal to be in and around where they finished last season. I did see a couple of people predicting Arsenal to win the league this season. Possibly could have been Arsenal fans. They possibly could have been on the wind-up as well. Um, but I don't think it's necessarily impossible Arsenal could win the league. It does look very difficult for someone to dethrone Manchester City at this moment in time. But... We saw Arsenal get into a close position last season. Yes, they didn't win the league, but they got as close as anyone has done over the last couple of years anyway. So I think coming into the new season, after what we saw last season, there is high expectations for Arsenal. And I think this is similar to where the bookmakers have predicted them to finish around second or third. Um, not many people predicting Arsenal to fall too far away. There was the occasional person that said Arsenal are going to regress a little bit and that Arteta can't sustain this rate of climb that we saw from Arsenal. But big picture. Picture. They've come third in everyone's predictions put together. On to the top two then, and people think Liverpool will get back on track. We said the same thing when we came onto the bookmakers predictions, and I think I've said personally, I think Liverpool will get into that top four. I don't really know what to put it down to last season. There was quite a lot of change. We've now seen Firmino go, we've seen Mane go, but I think the recruitment looks good. I think McAllister will be a decent fit. I think Nunes could come good this season in terms of the potential. I think he showed glimpses last season. We could see a better Nunes this season. Um, Gakpo as well, maybe. Uh, but yeah, like I say, guys, um, one or two people predicted Liverpool to win the league this year. That would be a big jump from fifth place to go to win the league. They have got the Europa League on Thursday nights to keep an eye on as well. But um, yeah, you guys have gone for Liverpool in second place. Not very surprising here. I think it was about 90% of your predictions resulted in Manchester City winning the league. I've gone for it myself and like I say the majority of you guys have as well and for those of you guys that didn't put Man City to win the league you put Man City in second place anyway. I don't think I've seen anyone predicting Man City to be anywhere below second place. It just goes to show how strong they are. They are now just this beast, this machine, this robot that teams are struggling to compete with. Maybe in one-off games you can take on Man City and try and match them. But over a 38-game stretch, can you keep up with Man City when they've got as many good players as they've got and they've got the depth that they've got and they've got the manager that they've got? I just don't think you can dethrone Man City at this moment in time. And you guys have gone for them to win the league. So then, guys, that wraps up today's video. That is all of your predictions that were submitted, put together to make an overall table. Do let me know if you agree or disagree with it down below. If you haven't already submitted your predictions on this channel yet, do feel free to get a prediction down in the comments as i say guys please do make sure to hit that like button do make sure to subscribe as well and we will do the championship predictions tomorrow i'll see you in the next one peace out